Holman for the last shot. Who's going to take it? There it is. Get on the boards. God, dog. That's it. Let it go. Shoot it. Dog. Okay, Canada. 51. Spain. 10 minutes. 1, 3, 6, 9, 12, 14, 17, 18, 19 points for Pasquale. For Pasquale with four three-pointers. I think I'm right on their score. We'll check them. They'll send the scores up for us. 3, 6, 8, 10 for Tillman. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 for Chris Manson. 4 for Triano. 2, 4, 5, 6 for Munger. 4 for Raffin. 2 for Yearwood. 19, 29, 35, 39, 45, 49, 51. I'm wrong over here, so I'll wait on theirs. Got 10 minutes, buddy. You're Tell wrong me. on what? What are you wrong on? What? You added up what wrong? Uh, I missed a two points uh -huh. from somebody already. So I got the score down, so I know 45, right? But they'll, they'll send a thing up. We'll check Any it. favor, it doesn't blow them away in the heat. You wonder about. I don't know who, which, who the favorites are. Doing a hell of a job. <laughs> He's doing, doing it. Job. I'm sitting in here to, to throw commercial cues. <laughs> I've never done a basketball game before. I shouldn't I, be I, saying that. I told him so I can handle this. <laughs> he could. Just send it And over I'm proving here. it. <laughs> All right, who we got out here? Big guys back. 14, Martin. What do you call him 14 for them? Martin? Martin, Martin yeah. Let's call him Martin. Martin. I don't think he's Martin. Okay. Okay, that's that's Jimenez. 12 is Salazable. 6 is Bar Barukov. Back to Barukov. the starting five. This is the normal... Nope. Back to their starting five from the beginning of the game for Canada. Yearwood, Raffin, Hatch, Triano, Pasquale. <coughs> Got to get him hitting right away again. Got the little guy on him. The little quick guy. Would the assumption have been, Ron, that if Pasquale had stayed hot in the second half of the game against the USA, that Canada might have pulled off the biggest upset of the Olympics? Uh, no, he didn't have to. If it had just not made mistakes going down the stretch, they missed a couple free throws, threw the ball away twice, you know, stuff like that. They blew, uh, they had the lead, and then when the U.S. got it, that's when they made their mistakes. Get on the board, that's it. <coughs> Eli, Eli, you can't do that. You're not going to stop him. Number eight, Jimenez. And we're back to four. 19 minutes left. Big dummy dropped his pen. It's like a war in there. <coughs> back outside. Two seconds in the lane. It's another turnover. Two straight down the floor, two turnovers. Squall and Yearwood both turned it over. Get you in trouble. Salazable. Jimenez. Margol. Martin. Margol for three. Get on the boards. Good block, Robert. <coughs> you got him. Has Squally fouled? It's against number By 12, Salazabal. 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 Is that what you call him? Sals? Salazabal. Salaz. So Ignacio Salazabal, just call him Salazabal. Triano for two. <laughs> Triano for two. Off the glass. Martin, 6 9. Thank you. Get on the boards. There you go. Sprawley, front door. Between the leg, drives. Boy, he's getting killed in there. Nah, sit down, coach. Who's Edward. getting killed? Pasquale's oh. trying to drive. They're beating him to death. Yeah. They're not letting him in there. Go to the basket, you're with. No, no. Shot. Three Fine. points. That's good. They caught him finally. After What's the, the call? After the shot. Or wait a minute. 
Yeah, after the shot. So they, they said he got fouled after the shot. So they get to take the ball out of bounds rather than get three free throws. Who's coming up? Come on out here and get the ball. Well, they're slowing him down. They're making him work again. The bonus situation applies, carries over into the second half, right? No, no, Does it starts it? over. After the seventh foul, <clears throat> once you hit the eight, you start shooting. So see up there, under there, team fouls up yeah. on the big one. Two for Spain, none here. None for Canada. 53-47, six points inside, the big guy, good shot, Jimenez, and he's got four. Who was that? Jimenez. Two or three? I didn't see. Two. Back to four, 53-49, four-point lead. Squally. Looking for someone, Hatch. Back to Squally. Squally. <coughs> the complexion of this game has really changed. Canada at one point, a 13-point lead in the first half. It was 51-45 Canada at the half, and now a one-point game, 53-52 for Canada. Spain rebounds. An easy bucket for number 15, Juan Antonio San Epifanio, one of their best players, and now Spain has the lead for the first time in this game. Well, that's what they want to do. The first thing that's happened, Spain's playing great defense. They're forcing Canada into bad shots. They're not allowing the open man to get to the basket. The second thing they're doing is hitting the boards, and they're making that long throw that you just saw right there to Epifanio. He got the easy two points. But watch how hard Canada has to work right now in their offense to get the shot. They were getting easy ones the first part of the game, but since then it's gotten tough. Nobody under the boards. Here they come. Pasquale missing on that one. He was red hot in the first half with 19 points. He hopes the same thing doesn't happen to him as happened against the USA when he was red hot in the first half and didn't have a field goal in the second half. Foul called against Triano. Antonio Martin has hurt him inside on the boards as well as the big guy, Martinez, number... 13. He's 6'10. He's only 20 years old. But inside, you can see right here, Jay Triano reaches over, but the strength of Martin allows him to lay it off the glass and in, so he gets the bucket plus the free throw and a three point lead. 56 53 for Spain right now over Canada. Remember, it was a 13 point lead for Canada at one point in the first half. Jack Donahue was called a timeout to try and uh, settle things down here. All right, Don, what's happening in the marathon? Don Carl Tillman's just hit for three to retie the game for Canada at 56, but Spain comes back. That was number eight, Andres Jimenez. His fourth point of the half, he had six in the first half, so uh, Spain regains the lead by two. Pasquale to lead the attack for Canada. Spain really caught fire late in the first half of this game. Canada let them dictate the pace of the game. Spaniards took over on the fast break, and that really had a whole lot to do with uh, how Canada has relinquished the lead. Foul is called at number 15, Juan Antonio San Epifanio of Spain. He's the best known player in this country, a pure shooter, they say. He can hit from anywhere. 
So Spain leads Canada 58-56 with 14 minutes to go in the second half. Give it back. Shoot it. Good shot. Tillman, three more. Boy, they needed somebody to get hot. Triano wasn't hitting anything. Tillman's kind of saving a day. Pasquale, they're not letting him. They're picking him up at half court now. Really pressuring him. In the zone, 2-3 zone. Rotate it, roll it around, back outside, reverse it. Screen the big guy. Shot. Epifanio. Salazable, Martin. Good rebound, Munger. Squally up the floor. Drives. Passes, Chris Manson. Come on, Tillman, get up on the screen now. There he comes. Shot. No good, off the side. <coughs> Don't save it. Don't save it. All right, Kennedy's ball. Uh oh, that's a little farther. They continue to go back and forth here at the Chomshill Gymnasium. Canada leading Spain by one now, 59-58, with 13 minutes to go in the second half. And Canada needed someone to get hot in the second half of this game. Pasquale's cooled a little bit. Carl Tillman has taken over two three-pointers on his second three-pointer. Canada went ahead by one, and he hits again. Well, that's what he has to do. Three straight shots by Tillman, three three-pointers. They're picking Pasquale up at half court, pressuring him so much he cannot get free to get his shot. Now they've dropped back into the zone to try to control those boards against this big Spanish team. Tillman's been averaging about 12 points a game. He's already got 19 in this one. Underneath for the big guy, Martin, and he's fouled. Well, they got it into Martin. Martin's hurt him today. You know, the Spanish team has a very balanced attack, so you, they can hurt you with three or four different people, and Martin's used that 6-9 frame of his to get inside and he's made the points inside this time he was fouled he'll get two shots Canada opened with a 125 109 loss to Brazil that great game against the USA which they lost by 6 76 70 beat Egypt yesterday 117 to 64 the situation here is simple if Canada wins it'll be in a good position to advance to the playoff round China plays the USA later today and we'll assume their record will be one and three after that game. That would, of course, dictate a loss. So it still could come down to tomorrow's game between Canada and China. If Canada loses today, they are not finished. And Tillman hit another three-pointer from long range, a long way outside that three-point line. If they're going to leave him open, he sh he'll shoot all day. 22 on the day for Tillman. Outside, the shot came from Margall. Finally goes. You see right there, Munger had the rebound position on him. Jimenez went right up over the top of him, took it away. When you have inside position, you got to block him off. It was Jimenez with the basket for Spain. 65-61 for Canada now. 12 minutes to go in the second half. Coming Don into the game for the Spaniards is Montero. Donahue's up telling him to settle down. Don't force the shot. That's what he's telling him. He put those, just tell him to relax, play basketball, work for the good shot. They got a four-point lead. Don't be careless. So Azabal leads the offense for the Spaniards. Three-point territory, and it's good from number seven, Margol, on the national team since 1977. That's his fourth three-pointer. He's shooting well outside. So we said we came inspecting to see Villa Campa and Epifanio do most of the shooting, but Margo has hurt him, Jimenez has hurt him, and Martin has hurt him. So the two guys we expected have been non-existent. Chris no Manson good. from three points, well off the mark. Nobody Martin near the boards. rebound for Spain. Fast break for Spain, number seven. Margol again. They had two red jerseys down court. As soon as that rebound came off to their defender's hands, they looked down floor. They